All right, I hope you guys have created the input component along with the stories. Let me quickly go over what I have done. In the components folder, I've created another folder called input. Within the input folder, I have created a .js file for the component, a .css file for the styles, and a .stories.js file for the stories. In the input component, we destructure the size prop and apply it as part of the class name attribute on the input element. We then pass in rest of the props. In the CSS file, we create an input class that contains the base styling and then three more classes called small, medium and large that basically change the height and font size properties. Finally, in the stories file, we import the input component, make a default export mentioning the title and the component, and then three named exports. These correspond to the variations in the size prop. If you take a look at our storybook, on the left side nav, you can see we have a new entry for input. If I expand it, you can see the three stories, small, medium, and large. Each of them basically vary in size of the input element. Now, if you've written your code in a similar fashion, I'm guessing you're feeling a bit more confident about writing stories. Although we discussed about the input component, this video is in fact a quick one about story hierarchy. Right now, you can see that we have separate entries for button and input in our side nav. It's okay for now, but typically in larger applications, you might want to group together certain components. For example, you can have a group called form, which will contain all the form elements like inputs, checkboxes, radio buttons, and so on. For the sake of understanding, let's try to group together the button and the input components under a form group. For that, all we have to do is for the title property, specify form forward slash input and form forward slash button. If you now take a look at the storybook, you can see that we have one label called form in the side nav. If I expand that, we have input and button, which you can further expand for the individual stories. So the takeaway from this video is that stories can be organized in a nested structure using forward slash as a separator in the title property of the default export. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.